Hey everybody, welcome back to Minus Letter Live. My guest this segment is David Sutton. He's the president of Nanosphere Health Sciences, trading on the CSE under the symbol NSHS. David, thanks for joining me today. Happy to be here. David, let's start out with uh, an overview of what the company does. So we nano encapsulate various bioactive ingredients to increase their bioavailability into the body. Um, basically, we're making pharmaceuticals, nutraceuticals, and even cannabis products more effective and more beneficial. Okay, so I guess uh, rapid bioavailability is a, a feature of this process? Absolutely. Um, so what our technology does is it breaks apart the particles and encapsulates them with an all-natural carrier system that helps transport them through mucosal membranes and directly into your circulatory system um, for a higher efficacy. Hmm. Okay, so right now, I guess the limitation for this technology would be in the in medical applications for CBDs, or is it actually are you using it to deliver THC molecules as well medically? Absolutely, we um, THC it actually is most beneficial for. So THC is a big sticky molecule, and it likes to bind itself together. Specifically, when we're talking about our transdermal product, the Evolve Nano Serum, what our technology does is it breaks those molecules apart from one another and then wraps them in that carrier system. This allows for a very, very small particle size that can be transported through the spaces between cells and into the skin. So it makes for a very effective um, pain relieving topical ointment. Hmm. All right. So I guess you, how do you source your cannabis? How do you... What's the process to get it into this product? Yeah, so we source trim on the open market here in Colorado, and then we do the extraction ourselves. Uh, it's an alcohol extraction process, and then we uh, distill it to come up with a very high pure concentrate that then we use in our um, nano processing. Okay, so is this product available in dispensaries in Colorado, in other states? Is it available in Canada? Uh, it's not yet available in Canada. Uh, we are hoping to be there soon. We're in over 110 dispensaries in Colorado, uh, and we should be active in California by the end of this summer. Wow. Okay. So does this mean that you're a profitable company already? Not yet. We What's just the process uh, and timeline to, to make that happen. Uh, we're in, we're anticipating to break even by this fall. Okay. Great. Um, do you have other products in your development pipeline? Yes, yes. Uh, this summer we're launching with an internasal application um, for our cannabis uh, division. This application of our technology greatly enhances um, how fast someone feels the effects of, of cannabis, thereby avoiding any sort of stacking issue that, that has been a problem in the industry. Um, so it, it Initial testing is showing onset within 80 seconds, duration of four hours, all with a very, very low dose, but highly effective. Fantastic. What, uh, what is the process that needs to occur for you to export your product internationally once the regulations globally catch up with that possibility? Well, um, a lot would have to change here in the United States, um, but there is potential with our partner, uh, potential partner in Canada that we would be able to base operations there for international exportation. Okay, so at this point, what sort of regulation is your product subject to in Colorado before you can sell it to medical patients? Yeah, absolutely. So we follow all the guidelines and statutes um, developed by the Marijuana Enforcement Division um, of the state of Colorado. And so all of the concentrates are tested for pesticides, herbicides, um, and, and any other sort of toxic chemicals before we incorporate them into our products. And then they're tested for concentration multiple times throughout our manufacturing process to ensure that the right concentration of um, cannabis is consistent um, as we move along. So that when we provide a dose to our consumers, say in our transdermal product, of 10 milligrams, we know exactly that 10 milligrams is being delivered each time you pump the pen. Right. Is there any recreational application for this product? Absolutely. 
Um, so that the internasal, it, that's really where, where the market's going to be. It's going to have the medical application as well, depending on dosage. But because of that fast onset and specific duration of time, it's something that can be relied upon almost like a shot of tequila. You know, it's going to affect you and I differently, but we both know how it's going to, to affect ourselves and we can rely upon that again and again and again. So that internasal, you know, fast acting, great duration and quite honestly, great um, effects is going to make it really um, entertaining to the recreational market. Sure. So are we going to get to a point, do you think, at some point in the future where we're sitting around a bar and we're, we're just sitting there with one of your devices and doing shots of uh, nasal spray and getting high? You know, I think you could be. Um, you won't, you know, possibly myself probably won't be taking more than one, but um, absolutely there's that, that possibility. Right. Okay. Well, David, that's a great introduction to the company. We're going to leave it there for now. We'll come back to you in uh, due course and see how you're making out. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.